Okay, I'm creating a true convex edge on the edge of the shear by using the inside of the wheel. I've got my burr, so now I have a true convex cutting edge. Now, if you want to take care of the, the cosmetic work, you swing that over, you change out to the new reconvexing clamp to take care of the cosmetic work on the outside of the shear. You can swing it over here, and what I've done, I'm set it ever so slightly of a less angle than I did inside the wheel, and what that creates is we'll still hold our true convex edge. Then I can pop the solid wheel in. Now I can come across. I'm going to speed it up a little for this process. I come across. Now I can pick it up, come across again. I can pick it up even further. I can come all the way to the spine of the shear if I want. I'm able to come across. Now I can roll and blend it all together. Now, if I want to go to a finer grit, I can go here. And I can rock it and blend it all together. And like I said, we're able to tip clear up to do the spine of the shear. And you're able to do the cosmetic work. You actually end up with two machines in one.